In today's video we're going to look at how you can create animal characters for Cartoon Animator 4, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel, the channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation and if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place so make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. Now if you don't know yet, I am currently or I just started creating my very own 3D animated film and I created a Patreon account so uh, you guys can uh, the, with the support of my Patreons, I can fund this um, project, but I also pull back the curtains and I take all my Patreons alongside with me on this journey and I show them how I make this film. We have live Q&A sessions as well. So this is a great learning curve for everyone who's interested to see how a 3D animated movie is made. Um, so it's actually um, great value. So if you're interested to um, support me creating this film, but also to learn how to create your own then that um, this patreon is um, account is especially for you so feel free to support me in the link below there's um, in the link there's a link in the description box below so go check it out and sign up it will be greatly appreciated and if you're new to animation and you want to um, start out but you don't know what uh, software to get i also have a list of free software it is not pirated copies it is actually freeware and this list consists of 2d animation 3d animation script writing storyboarding video editing and audio recording and mixing software so it's all those software a whole list um, so if you want that in the description box below there's a link i'll send that link to you so just uh, let me know and i'll send it to you and you'll you will have all the software you'll need to create your very own animations now on to today's video now i just want to read you a um, comment uh, deborah smith left a comment on one of my videos she said greetings eon Thanks for your great videos. I've been watching a number of them and have a question. Is it reasonable to expect a beginner to be able to rig characters? I have six custom characters, all animals by the way, that have to be rigged before I can make the videos. I'm concerned about the learning curve involved and whether I should hire someone to do the rigging so it can be done within a couple of weeks. Now, um, I just, I did spoke I uh, with Deborah and I just found out what software she used. She is using Cartoon Animator 4. Um, so I'm going to show in this video how you easily can create characters. Um, I did create an online course if you're interested that goes into much depth on how to create characters for Cartoon Animator 4. Again, in the description box below, there's a link to all my courses. Um, the principles, even though I work with human characters in that course, the principles, even when you, you um, create um, animal characters, are all the same. So it's the same principles. So what you do is, or what I normally do is, um, one thing that is very important when creating um, characters for cartoon animator is you need to get your pivot points and your uh, layers correctly if you don't do that um, your characters won't operate the way they should and the easiest way to make sure everything is correct is what i do is i just open up a current character inside um, cartoon animator 4 so um, any character so if you want to create a dog I just double click and I open up this dog character um, because now if I send it to my drawing software the layers and pivot points will all be already there okay so it makes my job so much easier so let's click there and now we're in composer mode and then what we do is we click here on the PSD so it will then send this character to my drawing software. So um, head body in one file, yes. If you have only one la um, layer, you just select edit current angle or if you want to create a character with multiple, with a 360 head movement you just update multiple but in this case i'm going to use edit current angle and you can click on launch and here my character is inside my drawing software i use clip studio paint 
And this is why I use this because now you can see all my layers and folders are created correctly. Okay. With all the pivot points. So what I then do is I just go, um, let's just sketch out. So I'm just going to um, sketch out a rough dog. I'm just going to create another layer. And just there you go. And I'm just going to sketch out a dog. So let's just gonna I'm gonna do it very rough. <laughs> no pun intended. And there I've got my one ear and eye, eye, nose, mouth, and then I use circles, and there's my neck. It's very important to use these circles because in the center of the circle is where you'll place your pivot points, okay? So even with your ears, everywhere, it's important to work with circles. And then I can add his body, and then I can add a circle there for this leg, a circle there, circle there, and his foot. And then I do the same for the back leg. I can add a tail and then I do the same for the front leg, okay? Okay, so there's a rough sketch of my dog. dog. I'm just going to drag it into place. And now what I do is I then can draw out each body part in its correct folder. For example, let's click my pen tool. Yes, it is drawing. Now I am going to um, we'll see if I go to my head tool, my face. So this is where I need to draw my face. So let's clear that because I need to draw Remember, the most important thing is you need to draw every body part in the correct folder. So I'm going to draw the face in the face folder. Okay, so let's do that. There you go. And then I'm just going to select it. Just expand a little bit and fold it okay so now it is filled um, let's just undo that because I want to fill it in the bottom there you go and so we've got our head done now let's go to mouth okay so let's go we create a normal mouth and maybe it's normal mouth is just a smile and let's say we want to make a show teeth so he's angry let's just and we he's showing his teeth basically okay so we've maybe have a few now let's create a nose so we go to the nose folder and we can create a nose like so and if you want to create a left eye normal um, so the white eye um, you create like so the iris is obviously the iris part so like so and then the mask is the area that the iris will move in. So what I do is I go to my white eye. I select that area. I go back to my mask. And I just say full with white. So because you want the iris to move inside that black area there. And then what I will do is I will 
copy this let's say edit copy let's go to right eye um, there you go normal edit paste you do copy edit paste and then the same with the iris edit copy edit paste and then what I do is I select those three and I move it into place maybe there and I can just resize it and move it into place and then so there I've got my left and right eye done you can create then different um, sprites for each eye position for eye close etc but the most important thing is you create everything or you draw everything in the correct folders okay so let's say you finished drawing your entire character your entire dog then what you do is now it is time to do your pivot point so let's go um, you can see my facial pivot points is there so back here now let's move everything into place I just use the back here and front here um, to the top then right ear is there left ear mouth is where the mouth is nose where the nose is right eye left eye right brow it will probably be there I didn't draw right the brow so it will probably be there and the face is where in the middle where the neck will be okay so that is done and now you do the same with your bone structure for your body as well now again I didn't draw a body I'm just going to use this this one as an example um, so you um, here it is so now you just move it you can see as I move everything where it needs to go and you also same with the body here is all the folders where you draw your body different body parts so um, the hip is where you will then basically draw let's quickly draw one so you just I'm using my rough sketch and there's the body and it is in the correct folder and remember once you are done just delete your um, this white backdrop that you created as well as your pencil sketch and one thing that is also very important um, if I go back to my face you will see there is two layers in that folder the first thing you need to do before you export you need to merge all the layers in each folder okay so you just merge selected layers now it is one so you do that with all the folders you merge all the layers different layers as to into one um, into one single layer and then you are ready to export so once you finish drawing your um, your character and everything is in the correct folders and you also adjusted all the different pivot points to the correct areas then what you do is you go to file um, save as and you save it as a Photoshop PSD document okay you click on save I'm not going to save it and then you go back to cartoon animator you select your character and you click on um, this PSD and you go and you select that file you just created that you saved that PSD file you select it and it will update your character and it will be ready um, exactly here and then what you can do is you just click there back you select your character and then you can drag any animation motion 
over the character to see if it will um, let's just undo that uh, stop undo and if you say drag a running so you I normally drag different and uh, motions over the character because then you will see if you have rigged your character correctly and if any mistakes if you see any mistakes all you do is you just go back inside your um, drawing software you make the adjustments to the pivot points or if something is in the wrong folder you make your adjustments you save it as your PSD and it will update it again so that is basically how you create a character is very short description um, obviously it's much more difficult not difficult but much more advanced if you go into detail but this is the rough idea how you create your characters now let's say your character is already created uh, you, um, so all you do is again same process you open up a dummy character export it to your um, drawing software and then you take your original drawing and you copy all the different body parts into the correct folders uh, the, the head um, drawing you copy it into the head folder and then obviously you just merge everything down uh, to one layer once you are done and then you save it as a PSD file so this is a short um, description of how you can create your own characters or animal characters for cartoon animator 4 again um, i think my online course where i go much more into detail um, on how to do it i think that will help you but i hope this video gave you an idea that you don't need to be an expert you um, beginners can also create it it is not as difficult as you may think again the most important thing is to make sure that um, everything is in the correct folders and your pivot points is at the correct places so you'll see here with this character as i've mentioned earlier the circles you'll see there are circles and the pivot points are in the center that will really help you um, the joints to move the way they should um, so that is very important to have those circles um, when you sketch it out and you create your characters and you just make sure those pivot points are in the center of those circles um, it will just make sure the movement of your character is perfect so i hope Debra, this have, has answered your question and that it will help you. And remember to hit the subscribe button. Let me know if you have any comments uh, or questions that, that you want me to answer. Leave it in the comment section below. I would gladly help you. So from me, Eon, I will see you guys next week with another video. God bless and happy animating.